Hello all. Today I am going to explain sensitivity analysis approach for MCDM method. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. Now this is the normalized decision matrix and let's use WSM that is weighted sum method to calculate the final preference score and the ranks associated with those score. Now in WSM that is weighted sum method we multiply these weights with the performance measure and then add all those values to get the PI value. Similarly you can find all other PI values and then we can find the rank of these alternative based on these PI values. Higher the value of PI better the rank will be. Here we can see that 0.3162 is the highest value. So this alternative will be ranked 1. Now these are all the ranks. Now here we have the normalized decision matrix along with the PI value and the ranks. Now let's dive into sensitivity analysis. Now for that we need to know what are the parameters on which the rank or the final rank of the alternative depends. The first one is the weights of the criteria and the second one is the performance measure of these alternatives. Through sensitivity analysis we can first determine the smallest change in these weights which can alter the existing rank of the alternative as we know that these ranks are dependent on the weights so if we change these weight value then the rank may change similarly we can also determine the smallest change in these performance measure which can alter the rank of the alternatives. Let's see how we can deal with the first one that is determine the smallest change in these weights of the criteria which can change the existing rank of the alternatives. For that we need to find the value of delta. Now this delta denotes the minimum change in the current weight of criteria CK such that the ranking of two alternatives AI and AJ is reversed. You'll understand the concept of delta in the calculation. Then we define the value of delta dash by simply multiplying delta with 100 and dividing it with the current weight. Now these are the conditions which should be satisfied to find the value of delta dash. Now this delta dash is the percentage change in criteria weight to change the ranking of the alternatives. Now let's find all possible values of delta and do the sensitivity analysis. Let me explain the calculations here. Now you can find that this is delta k i j. Now k represent the criteria number i and j represent the alternatives. So for this first cell k will be 1 that is criteria 1. i and j will be two alternatives. Here we are comparing alternative 1 and alternative 2. So i will be 1 and j will be 2. So uh, I'll just explain this uh, and to make it much simpler I have just shown all the possible PI values, WK values and AIJ values. So uh, to calculate delta 112 we can just substitute the value of I, J and K in this value and check whether it's feasible or not. And if it's feasible we just multiply it with 100 and divided by WK. So for the first cell K will be 1, I will be 1 and J will be 2. So just substituting all the values uh, we can find the first value 
by P2 minus P1 divided by A21 minus A11. So P2 will be this value, P1 will be this value, A21 will be this value and A11 will be this value. On substituting the values and solving, we will get this value. Now we have just solved this value. So this is the delta 112 value here. Now I am using n slash f for a non-feasible solution. Now this is the feasibility check condition. Now for the first value, this whole value is greater than the weight of the criteria. So it's not feasible. Now similarly we can find the next delta value. So here the value of k is 1, i is 1 and j is 3. So alternative 1 and 3 corresponds to a i and a j. So uh, we'll just substitute the values here. So we can see p3 minus p1 upon p a31 minus a11. So we'll just substitute all these values here and then solve it. Now for the first uh, criteria the weight is 0.3277. Now here you can check that this feasibility criteria is met here. It's uh, on solving this you will get minus 0 0.374 uh, which is smaller than the weight of the criteria. So it's feasible. So we can just substitute the value. Now I'll show a calculation for one more cell. Uh, let it be random. Let it be this cell. So here uh, the value of K in delta is 3 corresponding to the third criteria. I is 1 and J is 3. So here you can see A1 and A3. We are comparing A1 and A3. So I will be 1 and J is 3. So this is the formula. Uh, you can just substitute it here p3 minus p1 upon a33 minus a31 you you can just substitute values from the table and so here you can see uh, you can just substitute those values on solving we get the value 0 0.2017 which is less than 0 0.2876 so you can see the weight of criteria 3 is 0 0.2876 and uh, it's feasible so we can just substitute this value here similarly you can find all other values of delta uh, these are all the possible values of delta and next we need to calculate the delta dash value that is the percentage change in criteria weights to make or to change the ranking of alternative uh, so for that we need to multiply this delta value with 100 and divide it with the weight of the criteria. So I have shown here all the calculation. Just multiply the delta value with 100 and divide it with the weights of the criteria. You can see I have divided it with the weights of the criteria. And on solving we get these values. You can observe here that we have positive and negative values. Now the negative value indicates that the weight should be increased. For example, uh, if you want, so here we have minus 115.8 that is uh, for alternative A1 and A3. If you want to change or reverse the rank of alternative A1 and A3. So here you can see that mobile 1 is rank 1 and mobile 3 is rank 3. And if we want to reverse the rank of the alternatives, that means mobile 1 should be ranked 3 and mobile 3 should be ranked 1, then in that case we need to increase the uh, increase this weight weightage by 115.8 percentage. And uh, Let's take this positive value. This is 64.9. So A1 to A, uh, A2. That means if we want to reverse the rank of two alternatives, that is mobile 1 and mobile 2, that is 
mobile one should be rank two and mobile two should be rank one in that case we need to decrease this value by 64.9 percentage so negative indicates that the weight should be increased while positive indicates that the weight should be decreased to change the rank of the alternatives Now let's consider this row 1 which gives an insight about change in weights of criteria required to change the rank of these alternatives. So here we can see that if you want to change the rank of two alternatives, uh, the best possible way or the minimum change which is required will be in the weights of criteria 3. So, if we change the weights of the criteria 3 by 64.9 percentage. So, all these values are in percentage. So, we need to reduce this weight by 64.9 percentage. Why reduce? Because it's, it's, it is positive. So, if we reduce this value by 64.9 percentage, the rank of first two alternatives that is a1 and a2 will be reversed now 64.9 percentage is the smallest such percentage corresponding to criteria c3 when the pair of alternatives a1 and a2 is considered Now, if the decision maker wish to define the most critical criteria in absolute change, then he should check the minimum value in the entire table. So, the minimum value in the entire table is 18.9 percentage. So, uh, criteria 1 is the most critical criteria because if you decrease, uh, sorry, increase if you increase the value of criteria 1 or weight value of criteria 1 by 18.9 percentage, you can see a rank reversal between alternative A2 and A3. Now, why do we do this sensitivity analysis? Now, these weights are computed based on the subjective preference given by the decision makers. Now there can be some ambiguity or doubts uh, in the mind of decision makers and uh, we cannot say that the decisions given by the decision maker is 100% correct or 100% accurate. So uh, we should come up with a solution or with a rank such that small change in these percent or in the weights or small percentage change in this weight should not affect the final rank of the alternative. If it's better, if we have higher percentage change required to change the ranking of the alternative. So if the rank can easily be altered with 2% change or 3% change in these weights, then those results are not robust result. And, uh, and the subjective nature in this decision making process can affect the rank of the alternative. So our main objective should be to come up with such solutions which are robust and doesn't change with small change in these criteria weights. Now for your reference I have given the reference here I have directly taken the values uh, from this reference paper and you can also check the reference paper. Thank you and have a nice day.